Awards. <laughs> this guy's amazing. Uh, he came in, he went to the finals of last year's tournament. Since then, he's gone down and battled at the Comedy Mothership. Uh, in Austin, Texas. Uh, he went on Kill Tony and Murder so hard that Tony Hinchcliffe invited him to open for him at the Chicago Theater. That happened a few months ago. Number one contender, give it up for the hilarious Brandon Kiefer! Yes, another hick. Good to see you, buddy. Are you excited to take this on? Your hair looks hilarious as per usual. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. This is my first one sober. <laughs> okay, clear-headed for the first time ever. <laughs> He's taking on the current Rose Battle champion who went through five rounds undefeated to get his title. Give it up for the amazing, the hilarious, current Rose Battle champion, Max Sorry. All right, motherfuckers, it's gonna be three fucking rounds. And we're gonna determine who goes first. Five jokes each for the first round. I'm gonna flip a coin virtually. Brandon, you're gonna be going first for the first round. <laughs> All right. Five jokes each. Are you guys with us for your headlining battle? Battle, 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 battle. Hell yeah, give it up for Rose Battle, everybody! And your judges, hell yeah, Curtis is here, what's up, Curtis? Curtis books the Laugh Factory, one of the greatest clubs in the city, books some of the best comedians in the city. Curtis, this is Max, all right? You're never gonna see him again. Brandon looks like a normal person pressed their face against a window. <laughs> What's the difference between Max and the, the cicadas? The cicadas at least came out after 17 years. <laughs> Ooh, watch it there. A little false sober like an asshole. <laughs> Brandon's, uh, Brandon's house and garage caught on fire last year in the middle of the night. It was pretty scary. And uh, Brandon, look, I know you just discovered it, but you can't play with fire, dude. Speaking of fire, uh, Max recently got an STD this year. Uh, this Greek god, who are you, the Greek god? Herpes? Uh, Greek god. <laughs> Brandon also has herpes. He just got it at a family reunion. Uh, I don't have herpes. Brandon's herpes has AIDS. Dude. Your name is Max Sore Itch, all right? Like, you should do something more, more subtle, like dig blister or something, you know? And I don't have herpes. I would never fuck your girlfriend. Um, dude, you look like the Mucinex monster fuck Miss Doubtfire. You're disgusting, dude. I'm glad you got your first girlfriend this year. What did you, what did you, what did you get her after she couldn't find love on the spectrum? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, you're such a greasy guy. There's enough dirt under your fingernails to fill the hole your ex-wife left in you. Hey, look, all I know, all I know is uh, you got herpes and then soon after got a girlfriend who I hope also had herpes. Uh, did you guys meet on one of those uh, STD things, you know, the dating apps, what is it, uh, christiantingle.com? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Brandon, dude, Cool headband, what? <laughs> Dude, save some pussy for the rest of your soccer team. By the time, hey. every time, every time Brandon puts on his headband, an angel gets a DUI. By the time you get to my age, you can't wear a headband, buddy. Like, I'll tell you right now, you look like the kind of guy that would invite your girlfriend to a barcade and not let her play anything. <laughs> If you won prizes, you'd keep them, you know? Like, I bet you take her to the fair just so you and that guy can try to guess her weight. <laughs> you got one more? All right, one you more. Guys, uh, <laughs> you guys know Animorphs? Like when the animal starts transitioning yes. to human? Doesn't it kind of look like a pig started to transition? And then halfway through, Brandon just fucked the pig for no reason? I Wait, I gotta get this before it turns into a lady. Look, look, look. 
You got raccoon eyes, dude. What are you, uh, staying up all late uh, calling girls fat on the internet? Like, I bet you'd roofie a girl with an ozempic. The only thing, <laughs> the only thing more sunken than... I bet he only dates astrology girls, so when he hits her, he can blame it on his horoscope. The only thing more sunken than my eyes is your chances of ever moving to New York. <laughs> All right. First round over. Give it up for that. Whoa. Pretty good. Pretty good. We got a battle. It was fun. Wow. That was round one. I want to get first thoughts from the amazing Leah K. Janie in round one. What did you think? Oh, my God. Okay, that was amazing. Uh, I don't know how you're going to keep going. <laughs> um... <laughs> Jeez, that's tough. Um, I feel like you started out with it, Kiefer, and you definitely had the energy, but then Max with the headband fucking... I don't uh, think the headband joke's very funny. I disagree. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God, that's really tough. I really cannot decide. I'm sorry. Uh, Jesus. I'm going to, I think I'm going to give it to Kiefer because he looks more than divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up. <laughs> Kiefer's life tragedy gives him one vote for round one. I need it, baby. Curtis. Uh, I take it back. Actually, I think Kiefer is who I think Zach thinks he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you're also the white person that I wanted to cry. <laughs> you know, like, you know. um, no, and y'all, y'all went at it. This is this was this was great. Fucking first round. Goddamn, how many more y'all got? Um, Kiefer came out super fucking strong, but then Max kind of came back. But I think Kiefer edged it. Okay, Kiefer gets two votes. Give it up for Kiefer, motherfuckers. Let's go. Two. Him. Peyton. Hey, give it up! Give it up for both these guys tonight. Keep it going for Brandon and Max, guys. Wow, Max, you're standing like you're about to point out a whites-only sign to a black guy right now. You look like <laughs> you see. There's two water fountains, buddy. We wouldn't allow Brandon either. <laughs> Brandon, and then you look like you just, like, stole a spirit Halloween wig and put it on <laughs> for the battle. <laughs> and I don't know, are you so are you sober now, can I ask? I'm sober. I mean, I ate mushrooms and did ketamine tonight, but yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so it just sounds like, all right, well, good for you. It, so it's not really a problem, it's just kidney failure, I guess. <laughs> you just got to stop. But, man, that was fucking intense. That was great. But I'm going to give it to Max. I thought Max had better jokes. Than Max gets a vote. Two to one. <laughs> Stephanie. Um, oh, my God. Do you guys win, like, free cocaine after this? That was insane aggression uh, for the first round. Um, great job to the both of you. I am going to give it... Fuck. I'm going to give it... Yeah. Hmm. Damn, this is hard though, right guys? Um, I, I want it, I, I believe in the both of you, so I, I'm gonna start with Brandon. We'll start with Brandon. We got two more rounds. Brandon yeah. wins the first round, give it up for Brandon Kiefer. Final thoughts from Kevin before we move on to round two. Well, shit, swing vote over here had to fucking make that happen. Um, Good. They you say the white women decide the, the elections, time. everybody, they really do. All right, uh, no, that was really close. I was gonna go with Max. I thought you really had him with the headband line, uh, but you guys were going tit for tat. I mean, that was really fucking good, and honestly, that was that was just fucking incredible. I'm excited to see what's gonna be, happen next, man. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Okay, give it off for that one more time. Let's start this next round. This next round is different. It's not gonna go joke for joke. Each of these guys are gonna get one minute completely uninterrupted, and they're just gonna go. Max, you're gonna be starting us off because he started us off last round. Are you guys ready? <laughs> One, two, three! Rose. So, while I was writing these jokes about Brandon, I was doing research on him, and I found out he actually has a, a brother who lives in Chicago. So, I invited him here to the show, so, Oonga Boonga, would you please come to the stage? <laughs> oh my gosh, Oonga Boonga, thank you so much for being here. Oonga Boonga. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Oh, Unga Boonga, tell me about this bucket you have. What is this? Brandon Retirement Fund. 
Yeah, it's never too late to plan for your future, guys. Um, so, okay, Unga Bunga, tell me about some of the fun, uh, you know, traditions you and Brandon had growing up together. Oh, m mostly blackface. Oh, no. No, bad. Bad, Unga Bunga. That, that is my brother. Ah, uh, yeah. Look, Brandon, I know you don't have much time left on this earth, but it's my turn, so, okay. Wait, Unga Bunga, you told me about one of Brandon's favorite childhood toys. Uh, could you have that with you? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> Unga Bunga, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm sure you got to get back up. Where do you live, by the way? River North, nice apartment. Oh, wow. I'm doing better than Brandon. All right, get out of here, buddy. That was almost as good as when I did it last year. Yeah, Brandon, Brad uh, it's your turn. Oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot. All right, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just going to give you advice as an older comic. You are almost 26 years old. You live with your parents, and you uh, just got your first girlfriend. What's next, buddy? You going to get your learner's license? What are we doing here? Like, literally, you going to get a job at the mall so you can help girls at Forever 21? Is that the game plan here, dude? Did you get herpes in your parents' house? Because that might be the only thing you've contributed to your family. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a guy that would still yell at his mom, doesn't he, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you, just hanging out in your fucking childhood bedroom, popping zins and reading the alpha mindset? Is that what you do all day? <laughs> I bet he brings girls and like, talks to girls on dates like, what do you bring to the table at his parents' table? <laughs> like, yeah. You go through your yearbook and call those numbers in the back of the girls that said keep in touch, right? <laughs> You have, a market, you have a marketing degree, degree, just like every confused white girl I've ever met. Uh, and you work as a barista, which is pretty amazing. Like, what are you, what are you working for? Are you going to make sandwiches in a few years, dude? You are taking jobs from perfectly good non-binary people. <laughs> Look, a book will come back up here. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, gonna... give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Wow, that was awesome. What a uniquely retarded second round. I liked that a lot. I thought that was very fun. You guys seem pretty split on it. <laughs> I want to get first thoughts from Curtis. What did you think about what happened? If you think Ooga Booga looks like Brandon, <laughs> and I think Ooga Booga looks like you, does that mean that all white people look alike? <laughs> from that. Um, but I thought that was, I thought that was unique, and Ooga Booga did most of the jokes. I don't know mm -hmm. if I can give it to you. I like you got Queenie's device there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is Queenie's actual device. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Loaned it. Um, she loaned it for the... Yeah, uh, the... <laughs> uh, yeah I'm going to give this one to, to Max. Okay, Max gets a vote. Give it up for Max. <laughs> Peyton. Wow, that round was awful. Um, <laughs> That was almost as bad as that sun drop t-shirt you're wearing, and I'll tell you what, I got the same one. Uh, but I thought it was good. Uh, Oonga Boonga, I thought it was great. I also, Max, isn't that what you yell at black people out of your car? You roll down your windows and go, Oonga Boonga, drive, 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 drive. Um, I made Oonga Boonga funny. Okay. Uh, no, that was a great round. Uh, I am going to give it to Brandon. Um, yeah, that was good. I'll give it to Brandon. That's Brandon gets a vote. Give it up for Brandon. <laughs> Stephanie. Uh, Brandon, you look like if Shirley Temple died of alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> like, you... <laughs> You look, you look like Chicago Shirley Temple. That, that's so crazy. I'll take it. And then Max just looks like a Shirley Temple. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know, you guys. This is that was fun. There's a pride dildo on the stage. It's very appropriate. I I'm gonna give it. I I'm gonna give it to Max now because I gave it to Brandon earlier. And Max took a risk. All right. And fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Much like going unprotected that led to his herpes. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're all about here it's taking risks here, Maxie. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to Max. I'm Max gets two votes. Brandon has one. Kevin. Much like the bumps on Max's dick, there was a bump in the road for him here. Uh, I, I thought you tried something risky, but I thought Brandon brought you out to the deep water. We're going with Brandon in this one. Brandon, two, two, tiebreaker vote. Leah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. No, um, I actually, I think you took a risk, and I think it kind of worked, because I think you kind of threw him off there. <laughs> like, I think you didn't know how to react to it. And I want to see another round also. So I'm going to go, go with the guy who looks like he watches himself fuck in the mirror <laughs> and then loses his direction. Max. Max likes Huey Lewis in the news, and he gets a vote. He wins this round. All right. Here we are. Standing here with a pride dildo exactly where it should be. We're in it for one more round, and we're going to determine the new roast battle champion in Chicago. Are you guys still with us? Come on. Final round. This must be tough, man. Uh, going against me when you've been yelling, let's go Brandon all year. Uh, <laughs> I feel like if you lose tonight, you're going to go home and blame it on women. <laughs> Brandon, yeah, Brandon, he doesn't, he doesn't have much money to spend on clothes. He's got a shop at the uh, Salvation Confederacy, so. You look like you'd wear a sweater around your fucking shoulders on Easter, dude. Like, yeah. And then if he gets wild and hot, he'll tie it around his waist. <laughs> what are you going to tell me, crypto? Uh, what is it called, Bitcoin that you sell? Um, Brandon's dating a Gen Z girl now, which is pretty sick, but, uh, <laughs> she, uh... <laughs> it's crazy that I'm better at getting girls your age than you are. <laughs> she identifies as a hoagie sexual, and that's where someone is sexually attracted to things that look like half-eaten sandwiches. Wow. I'm glad. <laughs> you know Max makes all his money uh, selling All Lives Matter cornhole boards. Uh, <laughs> You're my biggest customer, dude. Yeah. I got to support your comedy somehow, buddy. Like, yeah, literally. You look like a guy that has uh, yelled the N-word at a pickleball. <laughs> Brandon, like I said, he got divorced last year. And I don't know about you guys, but I take one look at him and I'm like, oh, man, it's not even affecting him, huh? Wow. <laughs> he still has a jawline. It's not like he shaves his beard to look like he has one. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Wow. See, here's the fun part. Yeah. I am older than you. <laughs> There's 39 going on life support, dude. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. That is fair. I like how Max is like, I like black music. You guys like Hootie and the Blowfish? <laughs> Alexa, play rap. <laughs> Uh, Brandon likes to hang out on his porch stroking a shotgun just in case his daughter comes home with a college degree. Or with Max. <laughs> Literally, people think I'm racist, but this is, the, this is the new racist. You know what I mean? Like, this is the guy who would actually join the Klan and get kicked out for what they said, uh, not being chill, all right? Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brandon mentioned that I live with my parents, which, you know, I'd rather live with my parents than have to live with his choices. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> my choices. This is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Max yell at Mexicans to go back to Africa. <laughs> This is so fun to, this is gonna be such a great story at your funeral in three years. This is gonna be a riot, dude. In his free time, Brandon likes to hang out at the U.S.-Mexico border, uh, stopping immigrants from coming in, unless they solve his three riddles. Pretty good. Every time I hear you talk, I'm like, let me hear what Jordan Peterson said this week. <laughs> Let me guess, Ben Shapiro and Tucker Carlson had some big takes, huh, buddy? Brandon Kiefer has a tattoo on his chest that says, those who sacrifice liber liberty for security deserve neither. Fucking watch out, liberals, this guy's coming. Uh, you, have, you have a wolf on your thigh, all right? What do you have on your pussy, all right, dude? Like... Brandon's got a tattoo on his ass that says, tips are appreciated. 
That's true. That is true. That is 100 percent true. <laughs> I don't want to do this one yet. You look like the kind of guy that goes to a strip club by himself just to be mean to the women. <laughs> you guys uh, you guys know Hidden Valley Ranch? Well, the valley is actually hidden in Brandon's mouth between his two front teeth. My teeth touch more than your parents do, all right? Both of my parents are alive. Uh... <laughs> but you're dead to them. <laughs> you know... <laughs> You got <laughs> Brandon's uh, Brandon's dad uh, actually died during his childhood from alcoholism, probably. But uh... <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Brandon's dad was a Southern gentleman. He went by the name Sir Riasis. <laughs> You're saying I'm racist? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> you gotta be honest, this is the racist guy. You know what he did during Juneteenth? Which he calls Obama's birthday, by the way. <laughs> he spent the whole day putting razor blades in watermelons. That's fucked up. <laughs> Do it. That's what this monster did. I have black friends. I'm his black friend. Max, this is the last one. All right. Uh, Brandon used to work at a uh, at a factory. Uh, his job was to fish the fat kids out of the chocolate river. And your job was to push him in, you fucking dork. In his free time, then Brandon goes home and he likes to bake cookies in the tree he lives in. I'm, I'm able to get my own tree. You gotta wait for your dad to build yours. Like, <laughs> all right, give it up for that, everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> the last, uh, the last round was supposed to be uh, five jokes. <laughs> but these guys are just so fucking good that they could just go on infinitely and be funnier than ever. It was, it was, that was just fucking awesome. That was so great. Let's start off the judging. This is going to decide it. Peyton, what did you think of this last round? All right, one more time for uh, Max and Brandon here. That was incredible. Yeah. Hey, I got a good one. Uh, Max, you look like you have herpes. <laughs> Peyton, you look fat. Hey. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I got a good one. <laughs> Hang on. I got a good one. I got nothing. Uh, Max, you're gay. Fuck the guy with the cashews. All right. Um, this was a great battle. You guys both look, you look like you're about to get drafted to Vietnam, and you look like you just got back home, Brandon. You look like... <laughs> I ain't never going back. <laughs> yeah. I'm just excited to defend my country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this was a this was a fucking uh, great battle. Also, Max, you said tips are appreciated. Brandon, here's a tip: go back to drinking because Max won this uh, round. I'm gonna say. Six. All right. Oh. Max with one. Stephanie. Yeah. Um. I yeah. A fucking great job, you guys. I knew it would be an, a killer title match. Um. Brandon, you old dog, you old fucking dog. I love you so much, but I'm giving it to Max. I'm giving it to Max. Max has two votes. Two. <laughs> Kevin. I like the old dog. I think the old dog had more tricks than I. I think, I think the comebacks from Brandon were strong. Brandon, you ran in with him the whole time, but this guy was just, come on, come on, come on. Then he'd take one and smack you. He'd, he'd, he'd like set traps for you to go into. Uh, I'm going with Brandon. I like Brandon in this one. Brandon gets a vote. <laughs> Two to one. Leah. Man, that was a really good round. I do disagree, though. I think you should have stopped at five. Am I the, <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that? Um, I don't... Jeez. Oh, it was really tough, but I think, I think in the end, Brandon had a few more hits. I really do. I think uh, I'm going to go with Brandon wow. because he looks like he crawled out of a swamp and went straight to the gap. <laughs> 
Got to wear something nice. <laughs> okay, it comes down to this. Curtis, Wait. the new roast battle champion in Chicago, what do you think? I feel, like, I feel like she did that on purpose. <laughs> she leaned over me and said, are you ready to make this decision? No. Um, first off, I feel like Obama got elected and then Trump immediately after. And so Juneteenth happened and then this happened right after. It's like a conspiracy or something. Um, it was great. It was great. Oh, man. It was it was a lot of back and forth. I feel like the jokes were strong for the five. They fell off. Um, then it was like kind of like a comeback battle. And I think that Brandon kind of won that one. Brandon Kiefer. The new Rose Medal Champion in Chicago. <laughs> I kind of did. But Max, but Max, but Max, no consolation. I'll book you. You're funny. <laughs> Dude. All right. I'm the real winner now. Right. Holy shit. Can I win? Can he win and not book him, please? <laughs> oh, crap. All right. I'd rather not stink up the laugh factory. <laughs> Guys, what a fucking battle. Give it up for these two amazing motherfuckers, man. Wow. All right. You guys got to get out of here and say some slurs somewhere. That was fucking awesome. Uh, real quick, before we get out of here, I want you to give uh, a round of applause for our amazing panel this evening. Peyton Ruddy, Stephanie Robertson, Kevin Kellum, Leah K. Janian, special guest Curtis Soft Flag. Please keep it going for him. Killing all night. Once again, tip your servers. Your checks will be dropping soon. We have merch there. Patreon, that thing there. Scan it. Fun things. This has been Roast Battle Chicago. You guys feeling fucking good on a Thursday night? I appreciate you coming out. We're here first and third Thursdays, and we're also in Rosemont as well. Thank you all so much. I love you very much. Have a good rest of your night. Be safe.